What's going on guys? It's your boy Matt Balloon 1115 coming at you live from my basement like always and today we have a special treat for you and it is a local bakery that just opened up down the street from us. We're gonna give them a shot today and see how we like them and we have got the most beautiful cupcakes. I mean these are just gorgeous cupcakes. Now, keep in mind that I did get these yesterday, so they have been sitting out for about a day. Uh, so that might factor into the scores at the end of this video. So stay tuned to find out what we think of these cupcakes. Hope you enjoy it. So we have here a holiday pretzel cupcake with a little holiday pretzel on top. Right here, we have a Boston cream pie cupcake. We have a cherry cupcake. Strawberry shortcake cupcake. Fruity pebbles. And Reese's peanut butter cup cupcake. Alright, Deb's on the yeah. strawberry shortcake. Deb's on Reese's. Oh, these are solid. Very nice Yo. weight to them. Oh, I think I'm going to very much enjoy this. Oh, yeah, these are some thick cupcakes. Very thick. I'm One excited. of the Fruit Loops made its way onto the. <laughs> I'm going to. Fruit Loops? Or Fruity Pebbles? <laughs> same flavor, same taste. The same taste. Um, yeah, I'm very excited to dig into this. Uh, so, if you guys are new to the channel, uh, my name is Matt, this is Amanda, and this is Seamus. 248. He's got, got his own YouTube channel with subscribe. all of his fun content. So subscribe. go ahead and hit subscribe to him as well. Thank and you. Uh, what we basically do here is we'll take a bite or many bites in, in Amanda's case because she loves cupcakes and other various treats and desserts and snacks. And we will grade them on a scale between uh, 1 and 10. 10 being the highest, of course. And that is pretty much all we do and then hope you guys enjoy it. So let's dig in to our savory treats. Our savory, don't you mean sweet? Sweet treats. And there's Tigger on the table. <laughs> out, of, out of view. That's the fourth judge, if anybody's wondering. We're just gonna give her some cat treats instead of cupcakes. Alrighty, so I've got the strawberry shortcake. Amanda's got the holiday, holiday pretzel. pretzel. And Jameis has the peanut butter cup. Alrighty, ready guys? Let's see. Mmm. Mm. Oh. Mm. I got it all on my nose. <laughs> you got it up your nose? Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. Mmm. Mm. Wow. Mmm. Mm. So, I'm sure as you guys can tell by just looking at it, that it's not just your ordinary cupcake. Like, this is very well put together. It's not store made or anything like that, factory made. This is easily handmade, you can tell, right? Mm -hmm. Homemade, handmade cupcakes out of a bakery is delicious um <laughs> there's not much else to say about it like it's so good i will say that the only issue i've had so far is that the topping it, it does slide off a little easily so you got to be careful when you're handling these cupcakes this is from lily's bakery am i saying that right mm -hmm. lily's bakery uh located on south kaiser avenue i believe mm -hmm. south kaiser avenue i don't know the exact address but if you're in the area in Scranton, Pennsylvania, uh, or Taylor, um, definitely highly recommend going to check these guys out. They are fantastic cupcakes. They had other pastries too, but we love cupcakes and we thought this would be the perfect video to, to make with them. And everybody's like almost done with their cupcakes. I'm the only one talking. Let me just uh, take another bite here and we will give all of our scores and highlights and we'll go from there. All right, let me know when you're ready. I am, I got a lot to say. So without further ado, we're gonna get started on the scoring. 
and we will start off with our special guest, Seamus248, which you guys really seem to love last video, so that's really? why we're bringing him back. Mm -hmm. Popular demand. Aw, <laughs> oh, shucks. He's, he's blushing. <laughs> All right. Go ahead. You should know by now saying it only makes it happen more. I know. Okay, so I got a lot to say. So, if you saw by my reaction to that first bite, it was because there were two lovely Reese's peanut butter cups wedged on top of there, which enhanced the flavor. Um, considering these are a day old, I don't want to knock them too much. I don't want to hold that against them because that wouldn't be fair. However, the further down I got, as much as I enjoyed it, um, the cupcake itself was chocolate. It had a slightly generic sort of cakey taste to it. Not a bad thing by any stretch of the imagination, but, uh, and the frosting on top was like sort of a cream cheese, sort of. It, it wasn't vanilla or anything. It was probably just a buttercream. Yeah, definitely. Um, it was good, but it was a little sugary sweet. <laughs> Um, it is on the sweeter side, of course. Again, that's oh, cupcakes I, are. Oh, that's what, I have a different opinion on that. Okay. Not a but, not a bad thing, but no. no. You're giving your honest <laughs> opinion. That's all that matters. Excuse me. So Sorry. if you had to rate um, one out of ten, what would it be? Um, this is an interesting question. I'm gonna rate it a six and a half based on taste, but I'm gonna rate it a ten out of ten just on appearance and aesthetic alone. I like it. I like it. So you get a bonus on top of the, the taste, you're going to get uh, an aesthetic score as well. That would be a 16 and a half out of 20, so. It's a very Instagram poll. I would I'm say, gonna, yeah. I'm, I already took a picture. So. Of course Ooh. you did. Go right up on the IG. We'll go down the line and I'll save the best for last. Oh, you? No. Bigger. <laughs> she Our kitty cat, I don't know where she went. But go ahead, tell us, I'll tell everybody what you thought of this. So, when I first look at it, I'm like, wow, that's a beautiful cupcake. And it's a different kind of cupcake, too. Now, mind you, I follow their Facebook page, so I see that there are a ton of different flavors of cupcakes that I normally wouldn't think of, or, you know, different pastries that they have, which is really cool. There is a lot of frosting but i think it's a pretty good ratio i mean you kind of have to hold it with two hands mm. when you're eating it like when you take that first bite I unless you have a really big mouth no, I then congratulations i recommend just taking the wrapper off and eating it with a fork otherwise you're gonna just look like a caveman with a bunch of <laughs> napkins needed it yeah. looks a little messy mm. it's very messy i look like a three-year-old right now but i do like it a lot it is a moist cupcake and the frosting is very good it was i'm not sure i feel like it's buttercream because it kind of tastes like buttercream and it's very very good i on the contrary to matthew and seamus found it perfect amount of sugar because some are like super 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 sugar and i found it kind of the perfect amount but i do like very very sweet things so i don't know but i like it a lot so i'd probably give it like that what would you rate this? I'd rate it an 8.5 out of 10. 8.5 for taste and then aesthetics. Aesthetics would be like a 10 probably. Oh, okay. We're just going to go give it 10s. All right. <laughs> uh, very good. Thank you for your opinion. Again, on appearance alone, these are top, top notch. Very good. Um, like everybody else said, they taste very good. Um, I've had... I haven't had too many cupcakes, so I'm not a huge cupcake person, but I will say that these are very delicious. Um, still plenty of moisture left in it, even after a day old. Um, so I mean, they're very well made. Either that or the box is just really well made to hold, hold it in there. Um, they are messy, like I said, so just get a fork if you're gonna get one. Uh, the strawberry that I had here, it tastes very good. I don't know if it's homemade strawberry sauce or if it's just a can, but either way, job well done on that. And uh, sweetness, like it is just a tad bit on the sweet side. Like you're gonna, if you have a sweet tooth, these are perfect for you. Um, but I, I wouldn't say it's a perfect amount, I don't know, but that's just me. Um, 
but yeah to sum it up i think this is like a, a good solid 8.7 8.7 that's up there uh pretty high in the cupcake scale for taste and then uh aesthetic i would just i mean i want to join the 10 club but I, just join the 10 it, club well no because the top kind of fell off on the one and the cherry kind well, of fell that's out that's because of the way that we held it it's not possibly fault. it possibly. is trust me i saw it beforehand it was not like that but with the holiday pretzel she had the holiday pretzel um <laughs> but no the aesthetics was definitely a good 9 that's point 9.5 I won't give you a solid 10 just because of the fact that I don't. Oh, also, 9.5. my holiday pretzels were very delicious and crunchy and fresh, which I like because sometimes if a bakery, I've had, let's say like donuts before that have, you know, an extra, like let's say cereal or a pretzel or whatever on them. And sometimes they could be stale. So I didn't know how this would be with the cupcakes. But their pretzels were like very, very fresh. Mm -hmm. Like just came out of the bag, so that was nice. Awesome. Well, I think that's gonna be it for this video. Um, I appreciate appreciate you guys. I appreciate. I appreciate you guys joining. <laughs> um, make sure you hit that like button if you enjoyed the video, and if you want to see more of Seamus Two Four Eight, comment down below. Tell us that you want to see our boy, Seamus, join us again for another extra curricular video. Um, as always, hit the subscribe button to follow us for more awesome videos like this. Yes, and check out this bakery. Turn that notification on. Was that on purpose? Yes, that was on purpose. <laughs> the notifi- notifi- nope, I can't even say it. Notification? <laughs> the notif- vacation bell turn that sucker on and never miss another video and that is going to be it we hope you guys enjoyed i'll see you guys next time Peace.